hey guys welcome to Android guider so in this video we are going to talk about the marsh room and uh, this is marsh 2.0.2 it is based on android marshmallow 6.0.1 it comes in with the july 5 security patch and uh, as you can see that this room is based on cm13 this is an official build too and uh, the build date is 19th of july the stock kernel is at permissive by as uh, is at enforcing by default um so the last video i made uh, you know uh, in that i mentioned that the project has been called off um you know uh, in in the same video i sh also showed you the notice um, in which the owner uh, of the marsh room uh, said that marsh is dead until further notice um so and uh, you know uh, just uh, about four weeks or a month after uh, he posted this notice he posted another notice in uh, which he said that marsh has been officially been handed over to um, this person and uh, you know uh, he has been trained by uh, he was trained by the previous owner of marsh room and uh, uh, you know uh, uh, this man uh, he will be uh, driving the future development of marsh um, and in fact uh, you know if you will also go through this notice um that final new features uh, final new feature build uh, will be rolling out soon after this point marsh will be only kept up to date with the cm sources so you know all the new features have been added for uh, uh, marsh builds for android marshmallow <coughs> um and uh, uh, and you know again uh, the this new person he will be uh, get adding new features and you know driving future developments when android nougat rolls out or you know maybe um, we may be seeing certain new fe features in the future builds too um you know that's up to that's completely up to them um so i will still be covering up all the features which uh, the room has to offer um so we'll start from the sound settings um so in here first of all we have other sounds and we have dial pad tone, screen locking sounds, touch sounds, volume adjustment sounds, charging sounds. Um, and then you also have the launch music app option. So that's all what we have in the sounds menu. Then under display and lights, brightness level, adaptive brightness, live display, rotation settings, double tap to sleep on the status bar, sleep timeout, wake on plug, cast. Um, so from here in you can customize your LCD density and uh, you will have to select from a um, prior set of values or you know you can just uh, edit the build.pop file too if you want to have a if you want to configure the lcd uh, dpi as per your convenience and you know if you just want to set any custom value you want to then you will have to do that by editing the build.prop file um and then in the end we have the show recent uh, show the search bar in the recent menu and of course you know you need to have the google apps uh, you need to have you need to have flash the g apps and must have the google search app too um but uh, currently you know i just flash the room so that i can um, i can give you guys the feel what the room truly has to offer um then next up we have uh, you know uh, i already told you that this room is based on Cyanogen engine mod so it comes in with the cm theme engine um and then we have the notification settings um nothing new in here uh, lock screen settings so you can configure the lock scene type, live lock screen, lock scene messages, um, bottom lock scene shortcuts, display mu music visualizer, show weather, and you can configure the lock screen wallpaper in the end. Then we have the buttons, um, backlight, uh, left-handed mode, show arrow keys while typing, buttons and layout. So I will just uh, show you what uh, you know. These are the options that you have: empty button, search button, and the menu button. Um, that's pretty normal in all the rooms so nothing new there and then uh, power menu ample number of options in here too um, so this is how the power menu looks like then uh, you can use the power button to cut the call um, then use the power press the power button twice to quickly launch the camera when your screen is off and then we have various hardware key customizations which you can configure as per your need then in the end we have the volume buttons uh, settings so wake up device, playback control, control ringtone volume, keyboard cursor control, reorient the volume keys when the device is rotated. Um, that's up to you. Then we have the battery settings. Um, so the maximum percentage at which the battery saver can be enabled is 30%. So it's great to see that. Um, 
then uh, next up we have the security settings and unknown source is not checked in by default so in case you plan to sideload any app then just make sure that you check this check in this option and uh, i guess that's all what we in here um then so march settings so um so first of all if you want to blur the status bar background when you pull down the uh, status bar and enter the quick settings panel then uh, you need to enable this option and then you can configure the blur settings using the blur scale you know uh, the blur scale will decide how much area of the screen should be covered when the when the status bar is pulled down um and uh, how and the blur radius you know it will just uh, determine the radius of the region you have uh, selected in the blur scale um, so you know currently i have selected at one uh, this i have currently set it at one so you know currently you can see that uh, this thing is really very close to uh, translucent and you know when i just increase the blur scale which i told you it this will just increase the uh, blur region um and you can you know just uh, determine easily that the blur radius uh, the the region that uh, that is being blurred on the screen has increased um and you know i will just put that back to 1 then and i will increase the blur radius now to say 12 um and you know there you can just uh, i hope that you are able to make out that blur radius is you know actually going to increase the radius of the region which you have selected and uh, blur scale is actually you know how much a uh, region of the screen should be covered up and i would recommend you to use both these options carefully um you know uh, this thing looks uh, pretty neater um you know when the blur scale and the blur radius have been uh, set to almost the same value so i would definitely recommend you to go along with that um you know you can just make out that it uh, looks a bit nicer i believe um but uh, you know when i just the moment i just set it to one um you know it's not looking that nice um so uh, what i will recommend you is to you know set the blur scale and uh, the blur radius to approximately the same values and you know if you truly want to experience the blur um then you know a value around uh, 14 or 15 would uh, just do um then uh, similarly you can make the uh, background of the notifications translucent status bar date um expanded you know set the background of the status expanded status bar translucent i mean it's talking about the header region so if you just don't want to do that um you'll just disable this option and then you know it won't be then uh, it won't blur the status bar the extended status bar background then um then uh, we have the hide edit but uh tiles button um you know uh and obviously if you change this option in then uh, you will need to reboot your device and then you have double tap to sleep on the lock screen we have a custom carrier label and uh, you know you can just choose the carrier label location and the carrier label color um but we don't get the uh, get the custom carrier label in um so you know you can just configure the location and the uh, color of the carrier label then we have the lock screen torch shake to clear clean the recents check to clean the notifications and then in the end we have app circle bar um so you know I'll just quickly show you what the app circle bar looks like uh, now i believe that we should be seeing that uh, green colored region too um okay so you know i'll just quickly include a certain number of apps and uh, guys by default the app circle bar pops out from the right edge of the screen and that uh, is mentioned in the app circle bar description in the top as you can see um so you know the moment i just uh, uh, you know uh, tap on the right edge of the screen um and then you know you will be able to configure that trigger region using the trigger width trigger position and trigger height you know, i can just quickly scroll through the apps which selected you know and just randomly pick uh, some apps and you know if you want to just open any one of them say if i just open the calculator then you can do that just by tapping on the app you know so that's what app circle bar is um i guess that's all what we had in march settings 
um, then we have system profiles status bar settings um, status bar icons so from in here you can just enable or disable any icons uh, on the status bar say if I just want to disable the Wi-Fi icon then you know just turned off from the status bar um, then we have the clock style which is nothing but the position of the clock right center left or hidden AM PM style um, this is the normal one and this is the small one and by default it is hidden and then we have the icon style um, portrait landscape circle text um, then you can show the battery percentage inside the icon or next to the icon and by default it is hidden brightness control notification count quick pull down and then we have the traffic indicator um, in the end so you can configure its color display unit um, bits per second or bytes per second then we have the update interval and you can auto hide the network arrows when there is no data exchange going on and you know you can also select the inactivity threshold so say when the uh, data rate is below the speed then uh, you know the um, network traffic indicators won't be shown in the status bar so um then uh, we do have privacy guard blocked caller list protected apps um i had done a uh, separate video on privacy guard and i'll just ensure that i put down a link below in the description for that too if you want to check it out blocked caller list is pr pretty much clear from the name itself and protected apps too then uh, if you want um Okay, so then uh, uh, as you can see that the developer options are not enabled by default and you need to tap on the bill number seven times to enable them um, so advanced reboot it is present in here root access is disabled by default so if you want to enable it you need to go down to the developer options and do that <coughs> then if you want to uh, you know have uh, if you plan to restore any apps using titanium backup um, then Android debugging is definitely required and uh, I would you know I also uh, always advise you guys to enable it uh, you know because it's um, if you if you run into any trouble your recovery goes corrupted then you need to uh, you need to use fast boot to flash recoveries or you know just uh, flash any other room um, if you have uh, you know if you n know how to you how to do do that using fast boot then you know for that you need to uh, have Android debugging enabled by default and in some rooms it is enabled by default but uh, uh, it's not the case in here so uh, definitely I will always advise you to enable Android debugging um, then we have the multi window mode just below the animation settings um, and in the end we have the kill app back button And then uh, you know this room comes in with the stock CM13 launcher too and I did a separate video on that too so if you want to check it out I'll also put down a link below in the description for you guys too um, then we have audio FX and we get the chromium browser in and uh, you know this chromium browser has uh, ad blocker built in by default um, so you don't need to worry about the ads too <coughs> and uh, um, guys I'm just uh, I've just been ill over the last couple of days um, so I was not able to get the videos out um, in that rate. Um, uh, so then, uh, camera. We have the Synergen OS camera. Um, if you guys just want to have a look at that too, I'll just show it to you. So this is the Synergen OS camera. Um, and uh, you know, if you just want to use that. You know, it uh, it was working. Um, I just I did manage to click some pictures, and uh, you know the camera is definitely working, and it's uh, much better than the stock CM13 camera which we get in Sanjay mod based rooms or other rooms. Um, so you know this this is a definitely plus uh, with this room. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, we do get color control too and uh, you know only those devices which support K KCL you know only they can <clears throat> only they can do that but uh, you know my device does not support any con color control settings or <clears throat> and even you know any custom kernel uh, K KCL it uh, you know this feature is not supported on my device um, so that's why I just can't uh, show you the color control settings but definitely if you are using a device such as the oneplus one or uh, 
you know any uh, any other device which supports color control settings then definitely you will be able to uh, view more settings in the in the app then we have file manager the 11 music player sound recorder you know that's all um, and uh, if you want to have a look at the quick setting tiles which we have these are the quick setting tiles which are enabled by default and you know if you want to edit the quick setting tiles then you need to long press on the gear icon right next to the battery icon and you know from there you can access the edit menu um, and these are the options these are the quick setting tiles which you have and additionally if you want to enable weather in the extended header region then you can do that by swiping to the right from the first quick settings page screen and you know all the all the options are present in here so i guess that's all what i have got you for you guys in this video um and lastly but i will just show you the wallpapers which we have okay so these are the wallpapers which we get and these are the live wallpapers which we have and these are the widgets which we get so we do get power control and you know if you just want to uh, you can just quickly use it to quickly toggle on and off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode sync and adaptive brightness um so that's all what i have got for you guys in this video um so if you like the video then do hit the thumbs up button and do subscribe to my channel if you want to get a notification in whenever i upload a new video so thanks for watching and have a nice day